Hello, I'm at Super George, and today is Friday. I'm so, so glad to be bringing God's truth to you today. Now, we are in the month of December. Praise God. I told you yesterday, many good things are going to happen this month. But you see, it will happen when you switch your mind over to the Lord. If you walk by his calendar, guess what happens? He brings to pass the things he has said concerning you. So what timing are you using for your life? Praise God. Now, I told you yesterday, the Lord said, the month of November is the month of peace. Now, he's taking the responsibility of keeping us in peace. So I read the scripture to you in Isaiah chapter 26. I'm going to read from the Amplified Version today so that you will see Isaiah 26 and verse 3. It says, you will keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, that is committed and focused on you in both inclination and character because he trusts and takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. Now, take note of those words. Now, the reason we read several translations is to help our meditation. See, because meditating on God's word simply means putting life, giving ingredients to your thoughts based on that scripture. See, that, that, that's where we meditate on scriptures. So now, it says, you will keep in perfect and constant peace. The one whose mind is steadfast, constant, the mind is dead, that is committed and focused on you in both inclination and character. I told you yesterday, the word of God ought to influence every decision you take. That's when you know that you are living by the word of God. When the word of God influences your decision, soon the word of God will reflect in your character. Because your character is ref your, your character is known by the constant decisions you take. If you see something here that doesn't belong to you and you easily take it, you might take it the first time. Someone said, mm, maybe you thought it was yours or something. But when it becomes a constant thing that you do, someone said, look, you are a thief. Why? Because you have displayed the character of a thief. You see that now? So there must be constant co consistency in your action. And your action is based on your decisions. Because before you stole, you will still you have to make up your mind first. You will look at the situation. You know it's not yours. You know if you take it, if someone is going to miss it, you still took that decision to take that thing. See that? Now, it's your character. Praise God. The same thing with righteousness. If you constantly do righteousness, then it shows that you have the character of a righteous person. So when he says, the one whose mind is stayed on God in inclination and character. So what does it mean, inclination? He's inclined to do this. So now you get to that point where someone knows that, I know what he's going to do, or I know what he will never do in this situation. I can tell. Why? Because the person has seen you at other times done that thing the way he is expecting you to do it. So they feel you know better. So that's your inclination. See that now? So you are always inclined to do stuff. So someone comes up, I know if this person is here, he's going to pray. And when he prays, God will tell him what to do. Now that's your inclination. Your inclination will be to yield to the voice of God or to the mind of God to help you in that situation. Character is, the, is, the, is, is shows by the constant decisions that you make. Praise God. So if your constant decision is based on truth, if your constant decisions are based on the word of God, then it means you begin to reflect the character of the word of God. Now it says the one who does this will dwell. God takes responsibility in keeping him in perfect peace. 
It doesn't matter what's going on in the society. He's just at peace. I'm telling you, people will wonder at him. Say, come, how come you're not moved? Oh, come on, praise God. You can't be moved. Why won't you be moved? Because your stay is in God. You will only move when God tells you to move. As long as you are where God has commanded you to be, let the, heaven, let the earth burn. Praise God. You will not be touched. Why? Because that's how you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. The secret place is the place of His Word. The secret place is the place of His dwelling. If He has told you to stay there, then, I mean, stay there. If He's told you to get an apartment, then get the apartment. Guess what? You will never have challenge paying the rent or buying up that property. Why? Because you took that decision based on his word that came to you. Everything about your life should be by his word. Your mind should be inclined to listening to him. Your character should reflect his word in your life. Brothers and sisters, that is how you dwell in not just peace, but perfect peace. Don't start troubling your mind. Oh, the year is coming to an end. I don't know what I have done this year. I don't know. Come on. Those are not the things you should bother yourself about right now. What you should think about right now is, Lord, what's on your mind for me now? Not in January. Now. Now. You know the truth because he's the only one that can cause your life to connect with everything you think you have missed this whole year. He can give it to you in this one month. But in knowing that, see, prayer is one of the vital things you need to get your mind to stay on him. Because when he says, whose mind is stayed on him, what is your mind staying? Your mind is not just staying, is there's God, I know there's God, I know there's God. No. When he says, whose mind is stayed on him, he is talking about the one who have received the word of God and he is waiting for the fulfillment of God's word. You want to travel, you remember Isaac's case. There was famine in the land. Everybody was going down to Egypt. But Isaac got to that place where God said to him, don't go down with them to Egypt. Stay in this land. Now Isaac decided to stay Isaac decided to stay because of the word of God that came to him. See that now? So Isaac's mind was stayed on God. Isaac trusted in the Lord. And guess what happened? Because he stayed, he took his decision because of the word. The Bible says he sowed. And in the same year, he reaped a hundredfold. And God was with him. Praise God. That's the same thing. When, when, when God tells you what to do. And despite what's going on in the society. Despite what's happening. Now we're in the days where people are just leaving the country. Everybody wants to leave the country. Everybody says, oh, I can get a better life. Now except the Lord have commanded you to do so. See? Now when you wait for the Lord to command you to do so or to do otherwise then your mind is stayed on him. But if you're making your decision because every other person is going, then you are, you are doing your own thing. And God is not going to follow you to where he is not leading you to. I want you to take note of that. God will not follow you to where he has not led you to. You see that now? And then the day you cry out to him, he will tell you, okay, let's go back to where we started. Let's go back to where you left me. Now imagine the cost of coming back to, if God tells you, go back to where I left you. Imagine the cost is some expensive airline ticket. <laughs> now, so I'm telling you, it's not better you ask him now, Lord, what do you think? Will God speak to me? And that's the funny thing about people. They want God to speak to them. But in their hearts, they are afraid of what God will say to them because they think God may not say what they want him to say. Of course, he's not going to say what, he wants, what you want him to say. But whatever he tells you to do is sure going to be good. Praise God. Yeah. Whatever he tells you to do. You know, that's, that's exactly how 
Mary told those servants at the wedding in Canaan. He says, go meet him. Whatever he tells you to do, do. You know the reason? Mary knew that whatever will come out of his mouth as instruction to those servants will bring results. She knew. So she was, she, she, you know, you know, like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego say, she wasn't careful to uh, instruct the servants in that matter. She just said to them, go to him. Whatever he tells you to do, do. And I say the same thing to you. Ask the Lord. Whatever he tells you to do, do. Because he's got your best interest. As in Jeremiah, it says his thoughts concerning us, they are good and not evil. Brothers and sisters, December is going to be a great month. But you are the one that will make it a great month. Because God is ready. You are the one that will rise up and put your trust in him. Put your mind stayed on him. Not just think of him today. Not just think of him this morning. Keep your mind on him. Lord, if it's going to be a great month, it's because you made it a great month for me. So what do you want me to do? I pray that prayer every day. Lord, what would you have me do today? If you show me what you want me to do, that's exactly what I will do. Praise God. And, and, and by that, God has blessed me. By that, God has opened doors for me. By that, God has protected me. Praise God. Now, that's where you want to live. In the right and perfect will of God. Praise God. Now, today, we are starting a 247 prayer watch over our nation. Now listen, this is a very important prayer meeting that I encourage you to join. I encourage you to join. Choose your hour. Now when you choose your hour, it means you're going to be praying every day at that hour. So you choose a convenient time for yourself. Now if you sent us a message and we told you that hour is filled up, it means there are certain other hours that are still um, vacant and we need to fill. So we'll send you all those suggestions. Now, this, the, the prayer meeting, you are going to log in. You're going to join in via Zoom and because we'll send you the link. You join via Zoom. And when it's your hour, you can pray. Now, if you want to stay, continue staying online after your hour of prayer, you are free to do so. But when it's your hour, you are taking charge of your hour and you pray you, 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 you unmute your mic and you pray. God is about to change things in our nation. And let me tell you this truth. When he is done, you are going to like what he is doing. Praise God. And it's going to be obvious to everybody that this is the hand of the Lord. Not what politicians are doing. This is not politics at all. This is the mighty hand of God showing up in Nigeria. God loves our nation. And he's called us. Listen, we may have failed him before, but we will not fail him now. Because we are wiser, we are smarter. He's shown us his mind. He's revealed his will to us. Praise God. So as we pray, one hour praying in tongues, that's even good for you. Praying in tongues for one hour every day. This prayer meeting helps you do that. We're praying for the nation, but we're praying in the spirit. And when we're praying in the spirit, now we're not all praying at the same time, but if you can join, if you're free, you can just, anytime you get on the, the, the prayer room, prayer is going on, so you can join. But then you have your own time of one hour that you have chosen to pray within 24 hours. So whether in the morning or in the night, Let's, let, let that prayer, I'm, I'm telling you something, because God commanded us to do this. And you see, there, his, his ear is listening to the prayers that are going on in that room. And by our words, he will bring redemption to our nation. Hear me? Things will change. And they are changing very soon. Praise God. I'm too confident about this. I'm too confident about this. God bless you. Listen, I pray for you right now. Whatever expectation you carry in your heart throughout this year, 2022, I pray that the Lord will take you by the hand 
and begin to guide you into the truth of those things until you begin to see the manifestations of them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If there is any sickness that you have been battling with, hear me? That sickness is leaving your body right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the pain in the neck, the pain, the, the migraine headache is gone from you right now. The pain in the neck is being healed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every problem with your spine, I speak healing right now. I speak healing right now. Be healed. Every challenge with your knee, with your legs, your bones. They say your bones are getting weak. Receive strength from the Lord right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every problem and challenge with your eyes, be healed. Be healed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heart problems, heart problems are being healed right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is dealing with everything that have to do with circulation of blood in your body be healed completely let your veins your vet, your arteries let them begin to walk normally in the name of the lord jesus i speak health to your heart i speak health to your heart be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You're dealing with high blood pressure. It's becoming normalized right now. I speak against diabetes. Be healed. Be healed. I command you to leave your body now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Someone, the, your ankle, the ankle of your right leg, the ankle of your right leg, it affects your walking. Be healed right now everything that have to do with bones i'm seeing God, the lord straightening bones i'm seeing the lord healing bone issues bone bones are being corrected be healed right now in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus thank you lord jesus every expectation that you've been carrying in your hearts it's not too late. Praise God. He will grant you this month of December. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. I expect to see you in our prayer room. Praise God. Bye.